Shaftesbury Carnival's annual general meeting was held on Monday, the 27th of January, in Shaftesbury Town Hall. Alfred's Carnival Show presenters Matt and Steve Appleby went along to report on a well-attended event. So we've just gone through the entrance of the town hall and we've just been greeted by the Carnival Grand. And we're heading up the stairs and from where we can uh, see into the event room, there seems to be about 30 or 40 people here for the Shaftesbury Carnival AGM. In 2019, Shaftesbury Carnival suffered a very wet carnival, as did the majority across the carnival season. But that didn't dampen their spirits, although the collection was below average. Shaftesbury Carnival are looking for new officers and committee members to join their team, especially with Derek Beer, who's served Shaftesbury Carnival for the past 39 years, is stepping down from co-chairman. Having been involved with Carnival for, for, carnival for many, many years, it's now set up and running fit for the 21st century with a really, really good, vibrant committee. And they don't need someone like me with my last century ideas holding them back. So how many years have you actually done it then? 39. 39 years. They, get yeah. they started off um, from the Chamber of Trade as when well, I was on the Chamber of Trade in 1980 and I was their carnival rep and I used to look after the carnival window dressing competition and that sort of thing. And it evolved from there. And then when I joined the Town Council, I, I, because I was on the Carnival Committee anyway, I then became the Town Council's Carnival Rep. And then when I retired from Town Council in, 19, in 2011, I still carried on because it's, Carnival's a great tradition and it's something that we're really responsible for upholding. For the, it's part of the history of the town. We have to make sure that it carries on for the future. Uh, I'm Rich Mullins. I'm the Shaftesbury Carnival Chairman for 2020. Right, so Rich, you, how many years were you co-chairman? Uh, we did two years as co-chairmanship, um, and a, before that I was vice-chair for a year, I think, and then I was on the committee for a couple of years before that. So not, I had a massive amount of involvement in Carnival before. I answered Derek's plea, really, of the, the urgency to sort of save the Carnival um, with a load of other people, and our, you know, there's, there's a massive team, not just myself, that rescued that plea. So are we going to see you in 2059 still on the Carnival Committee? Well, no, probably not, because what we want to do is we want to evolve the Carnival with the time. So, you know, I'm not old, I'm not young, so it's the, the, the opportunity to pass on the reins when we feel the time's right and when someone else can offer more than I can offer. I still want to stay involved, and I'm always going to want to be involved in Carnival, but it's trying to keep Carnival current. That's what's really important, and that's where we want other committees to aspire to, like us, is to get the youngsters in and to get them trained up, learning how to do it, and bring Carnival forward for well, the 2020 century where we're in now. Derek then discussed about bringing younger blood into the Carnival Committee to sustain its future. That everybody who comes has to be useful, everybody who comes is part of a team, and we talk about we rather than they. Mm -hmm. I used to get very upset in the olden times when people come and say, when are you going to do this, and when are you going to do that, and well, I forbade, I forbade the word you or they, it was about we, and yeah. we is really, really important, and that's the, that's why I said that, my final words. And I think I think that um, reflects in the whole of Shaft Carnival, because obviously, um, uh, as a media point of view, you had a sort of a facelift a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. and it really, since then, and even before then, it's taken a real uplift, and, you know, Shaftesbury Carnival Committee has got uh, a committee, you know, the same size as Glastonbury, or even bigger, you know, some of the well-established Somerset carnivals. Yeah, it's important to stay vibrant, and that we, we noticed that the old logo was very, you know, although it served a purpose for many years, it was very old hat, and youngsters didn't relate to it. Mm. Um, so we introduced the new logo, which was uh, interesting a load of designs put together and in the end chosen by well, Toby Whiteford who's our logistics manager because he said on Carnival Week the bunting goes up we know it's Carnival. A great importance to Shaftesbury Carnival Committee is helping and supporting local SB7 beneficiaries. The beneficiaries help fundraise with the committee throughout the year which then gets exchanged into a donation for them at the following AGM. Among the 2019 beneficiaries were Carlink, a voluntary taxi service for isolated residents. June Hull, Shaftesbury Carlink. Right, so you were beneficiaries of Shaftesbury Carnival 2019. Uh, what did, did you do a lot of fundraising to help Shaftesbury Carnival this year? Oh, absolutely, and we had such a whale of a time as well. We did. Uh, we had a, a stand at the classic car show, so we helped out a bit there. And then mainly it was the week before, so we went round, we helped uh, collect raffle prizes. We spent week upon week polishing cups. <laughs> to make those Someone's got to really do that nice. job, haven't they? I know. But yeah, some of them were in a bit of a state as well, but no, a lot of hard work went into that. We ran the Tom Bowler stand, 
actually on the day Martin, um, my husband and Jordan, our son, were in the carnival procession, in the afternoon procession. So while that was all going on, I was manning the raffle stall and the tombola store outside the town hall. We got loads and loads of raffle prizes and tombola prizes because we're part of the Royal British Legion, we're affiliated to them. So uh, we had masses of people bringing in things for us to actually donate. So I think we donated quite a a few bits and pieces. We just had an absolute blast doing it. So there's not actually many of you, you mentioned in the meeting, um, and your numbers for the, um, you know, the demand for Carlink is is absolutely sworn. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, when we took it over, we took it over about 14 months ago and it was for hospital trips only. Um, And they were doing about 30, maybe 50 trips a month at a push. And gradually as the months were going by, those numbers were increasing. We did a big marketing campaign. We wanted to reach as many people as we possibly could could, and help as many people as we could. Um, And we're now hitting 300 a month. The majority of those are medical trips, a lot of short trips, uh, dentists, you know, all that sort of thing. And the odd hairdresser's appointment, shopping trip, things yeah. like that, to stop people who are in isolation in these little villages who just can't get out and about. That's absolutely lovely. So um, tell, me, tell, tell us how much uh, money you received and sort of where um, it's going to go to help you. Well, we, they were very generous. They uh, let us have £1,000, which is a huge amount Amazing. of money to us, a huge amount. Um, and Shaftesbury Town Council awarded us £800 last year out of their funds, which we'd already um, designated for training for all our drivers, because we want our passengers to feel as safe as they possibly can be, yeah. and we want our drivers to be as well equipped as they can be. So we've put them through first aid training, so the majority of our drivers are now level three first aid trained, to include defibrillation and all that sort of thing. Uh, safeguarding training, so if they identify a potential adult or child uh, who may be having any uh, underlying issues, then they know how to report that and who to report it to. We're shortly undergoing Alzheimer awareness training as well. So the £1,000 that we've received from the uh, Shaftesbury Carnival is going to go towards providing all of the drivers with high-vis jackets, Um, two jackets per vehicle, so there's one for the passenger as well. Uh, First aid kits and safety equipment as well, so like triangles, warning triangles, fire extinguishers, that sort of thing. Another of the 2019 beneficiaries was local group Kipling Carnival Club. The Kiplings achieved great success in 2019 and have just been crowned the Wessex champions of the 2019 season. We spoke to Secretary of Kipling, Verity Appleby, and member Nikki Judd, who has also just been elected Vice Chairperson of Shaftesbury Carnival Committee. Hi, I'm Verity Appleby, Secretary of Kipling Carnival Club. Hi, I'm Nikki Judd, I'm a member of Kipling Carnival Club, and I am Vice Chairman of Shaftesbury Carnival Committee. That took a bit of getting used to to say that. Yeah, it did. <laughs> so the new role then, I, I hear that you sort of, uh, you, got, you got poached as such. Mm. Um, by Rich, the uh, current chairman. Well, I was going to join anyway, just something else to fill my time to do. So Someone's got to do it, Nick. Someone has got to do it, <laughs> yeah. And um, it will be sharing it with him and it's, it'll, it'll be, be fine. Good. It'll be fine. It'll be good. It'll be good fun, it'll be fine, yeah. Well, what they just... Back, we just spoken to um, Derek and Rich and they just said about the fact that it isn't, you know, I, you or, or they, they very much said we. So I think it, um, I mean, it's going to be quite easy in your role I think working with such a great team. Yeah, definitely, because you share ideas and you get other people to help you out. It's it's not like you say. It's not just your job, not just your role that you have to do it. It's it's between the team. There's a lot of people on the committee that by doing all their individual little jobs, it does. It all gels. Soon all comes, comes together. together. Yeah. yeah, it's a really good team as well mm. this year. I think it is very good team. It's right. So places. then, uh, Kipling Carnival Club. They were beneficiaries of 2019. Verity, um, would you like to? Uh, you've got the big check there. How much was it? For a £1,000, which we're honoured to accept. And how are we going to put it to use? What, we, what sort of, how is the money going to be used? Um, well, it will go into club funds uh, as um, 
as you know probably that uh, the insurances are an absolute fortune our public liability insurance so that will probably be set aside to pay for that this year and we won't have to worry too much about it which is really good Shaftesbury Carnival are looking for beneficiaries for 2020 in the SP7 area. To apply, contact the Carnival Committee via their Facebook page. They would also like to thank everybody that braved the weather for the wet evening procession 2019 and have promised this year's Carnival will have dry weather. Listen to Alfred.